Hello everyone and welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann and in this Blender 2.8 Alpha preview video I'll mostly focus on the latest shortcut changes but I'll introduce you to a few other new things as well. First thing you might notice is that the new default theme is now flatty dark which I think is pretty nice. And the first thing I'd like to show you is that when I hit spacebar I have the option to access the search again by using the uppermost menu entry. And I can also access it directly by using F3, which is now more in line with other applications where search often is on F3. Also notice that F2 now opens up the file context menu where you can choose between linking, appending, import and export. Thus it no longer means you can use F2 to open files and F1 got kicked completely, but maybe they'll put something onto F1 in the near future. F4 now brings up the window context menu, which has uh, nice things like toggle full window full screen or um, opening user preferences, which is also quite handy. And now let me tap into edit mode. That's right. That's right. I can use tap to get in and out of edit mode again. And to open up the pie menu, which is enabled by default, I can now use control tap, which allows me to go into any mode I want at a blazing speed. It's almost as if I would be using mouse gestures. So that's way better than before when you had like um, had to push down the button, wait a little bit, move the mouse and stuff to go into the pie menu. Now it's really blazingly fast. And now I want to select everything in the scene. That is of course the A key. But deselecting everything using the A key again doesn't work anymore. Instead it's now Alt A. So let me do this again. Let me select something. Alt A and everything is deselected. That is actually way more in line with the regular way things are working in Blender because I can for example rotate something and in order to reset the rotation I can use Alt R and this also prevents me from having to select everything. For example when I have like a million objects in the scene and I do the A key to select everything that's fine but maybe I only have one object selected, a million other objects and I want to deselect everything. Before I would have would have to have select everything before I could have select deselected everything and that could have taken ages like 10 seconds or so just to deselect everything. Now I can use Alt A and it will work instantly. And by the way you might have noticed when I rotated the cube that down here there was a lot to show. And that is a really nice addition because down here if you're a newbie or even an experienced user the developers are now showing you what you actually can do. So for example let me hit the R key again. Now take a look down there. I can't point my mouse uh, down there but there is a lot of things, the options they are showing me. For example I can hit C to, um, so it's locked to the, the rotation is locked to the C axis. Or for example, I can use the G key to grab. And there's also things like shift tap to uh, toggle snapping and everything. So um, this is actually a pretty nice addition because it shows me all the options I have right down here at the button, which is pretty nice if I have forgotten how something works. Now, one last thing I'd like to show you is the new key for um, playback animation. But first let me create an animation and for this up here I can, for example, um, create a keyframe for the Y axis with just one click. Then let me go here or here and uh, let me move this along the Y axis, click again. Now I got a little animation. But down here in the timeline I can no longer use E to um, as at the end frame. I have to do this right here now. Maybe they will create a new shortcut, but that's it for now. Both, both S for start frame and E for end frame are no longer working. Instead I would scale the animation down here directly. But let me play back the animation now. It's shift and space 
which means that playing back the animation is now also way more in line with other software where playback of animation usually is on the spacebar, at least in most non-linear video editing software. But all the other changes to the timeline down here, that deserves its own video. So instead, let me stop the animation and show you the new changes to the navigator widget. I've already created an entire video just about this widget, but the new look, that is actually a big improvement because now I can actually see which um, is a major view, like here the top axis where it reads C, and which is a minor view, like the view from the bottom, which, bottom, which now basically is this um, blue dot that semi transparent while the um, main view from the top is completely opaque is connected to the middle and has a like the um, the letter in it the letter for the axis what i'd like to know from you is what do you think about those shortcut changes um, i mean they have changed the shortcuts a few times already now and they're totally listening to the community the, so especially the more controversial things have been reverted so i'd like to know from you down in the comments below this video what do you think about those shortcut changes um, which ones do you like specifically and which ones do you dislike specifically and of course, if you like this video and want others to see it as well, like it on YouTube and of course share it wherever you can. And if you want to see more videos like this one about the development of Blender 2.8, then subscribe to this channel. And as always, do try this at home. The link to the download of Blender 2.8, of course, is in the video description.